Go on, go for something like a scorpion kick. What is going on guys? Today we are looking at 85 Politano, the beautiful Pacey Winger, has been fully upgraded into his evolution. And most definitely, one of the better evolutions for the Pacey Winger. Four star, four star, high low work rates, five seven with his left foot. Explosive acceleration type can unfortunately only be right wing, right mid. But in terms of stats, we've got to go with that finisher on him. Adding the bonus to the finishing, getting a bit more dribbling on him as well, is going to be a massive difference, especially when he already has the 92 and 90 acceleration sprint speed. We do have the stamina as well. Nothing too much on the strength, which is fair enough. And a bit of passing, which obviously you could potentially go with more of a dead eye, which again, depending on how you run your winger, if you want him more attacking with a bit more dribbling then yes the finish is going to be the one if you're looking for maybe crossing a little bit more on the pass side of stuff trying to assist your forwards then i would recommend probably going with the dead eye we have got finesse shot as a play style whipped pass uh, we've got technical rapid quick step and now travella so we've got rapid and quick step from the evolution and the rest were already there i think he's a solid card probably the better option if we don't get any sort of promo card as we did get a winter wild card last year whether we see that again this year hopefully not for a while because he's fifty thousand coins now but let's jump in see what he's all about and we'll get a review out of him I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Into him here then. Finds the shimmy across, looking f oh, okay, we've got somebody who is very calm and collective on his on his defending there. Can we get a little bit of ball across? A beautiful left foot, look at that. That is exactly what you want from him. Beautiful inside dribbling, and that's kind of where I'm going with, with the finisher personally, as even though, yes, he more than likely could do very similar stuff without it. That is just adding that extra little bit of flair, a little bit of crispness to that left stick dribbling going forward, which is what I want more so than I do necessarily on the passing. He's got already the whipped pass. He's, oh, okay, that's just... Ooh, big save. Okay, I'll take that. But in terms of the passing, he's, he's already got a good game. And I don't really need him too much. When, when it comes to going down the byline, especially if you're going very, very heavy on that wing play... You only need a set amount of passing. You don't need too much. It won't really matter a massive deal trying to just cut inside with him and, and get that pass off. As we see many, many times now. Finding it down the wing again. He's got lovely amounts of pace now on this 85. You can already tell the difference between the two versions. He's really, really stepped up his pace game. Just coming down here, we've got Gabriel chasing. Little bit of sprint. Like I say, the strength is going to be the issue, so you want to make sure you are absolutely away. Can we go with a whipped pass into Ronaldinho with a little bicey that goes wide? He also does have the four-star skills as well as the weak foot, which I think is a big factor for me when it comes to a card that you are grinding out and trying to get better. If they're already... Let's have a little bit of a finesse. I, I didn't think he could from there, but you never know. You give it a go, you try and hope. But in terms of uh, kind of where he is originally, I already like... Oh, that would have been a perfect layoff as well. I already like the base version of him. He's got a good amount of stats to start with. So adding anything to him, I think it makes him that perfect kind of upgraded card and we see that with the Ansu a beautiful card to be great and you just you can tell from the card that he would be good and I do think with this one the only I say not even a downside but the only thing that I'm worried about with someone like Politano and hopefully they've took this into consideration is the fact that he he is more than capable of having a special version at some point as he already has got it. We know EA are absolutely relentless with giving cards the same upgrades every year. So whether we do see a Politano, I feel like as the other options, I think the popular ones were Alicia Lehman. We then had Malcolm. The only other kind of benefit for them is 
I don't know whether they get upgraded as quickly as Politano does. I think Politano definitely could get one quite quickly, especially with the Serie A having some nice upgrades already. Back into him here. Looking for a little bit of dribbling. What have we got with the technical? He obviously has the technical dribble as well. A little bit less cool with his defending. Keepers out. Keepers out. <laughs> Where are we going with this? As he... Ma oh, he managed nearly. It's come across. <gasps> the basic shots, honestly. I think the first two was actually harder than them two. <laughs> and again to him. Finding the space on the side. Little fake across, little ball roll. It is calm and Henri finishes it. I must admit, looking at the, the difference between Lehman and this one, I'm kind of wishing I did Politano on the main. This is a second account, and to be honest, Politano is actually way, way better. Great assist play. Unfortunately, can't be buried. But I'm, yeah, it, in terms of Politano, he's definitely the better option in my eyes. Even Malcolm, I've, I've seen a couple of reviews already. You want to check them out, make sure you are looking at the search. But in terms of Politano, I think, yeah, I'm, this is the best option in my eyes now. I've, I've kind of just made my mind up. Yeah, I'm, I'm well happy with this one. As we see him through again. Oh, he's going to have that pace. Second touch. It's a great tackle. Don't you just love Stones? Stones this year is an absolute baller for tackles. If you actually make the tackles count. Wins the foul. He's trying to go all the way. Finds a left foot. And boom! That is what you want. Beautiful. Let it run. Oh, it's stunning. It's got that pace. Gabriel has absolutely no chance. Double ball roll inside. Gabriel tries to bring him down. Finds his left foot again. Doesn't matter. Ronaldinho into Bruno. And again, the wing play on him is phenomenal. He is very, very good at holding the ball. Dribbling's nice. Again, in, in terms of strength, that's going to be probably the, the biggest thing that you're going to encounter. Other than that, I think he's a perfect upgrade. Genuinely, if he's not, not going to get a five-star five-star. That, that is fair enough at this point. But at, in terms of the upgrade that you're getting, I think he is an absolute unit to go into the Serie A and, and really put up a performance. Whether we see somebody, I think really the only other one that, that comes to mind is going to be someone like Chiesa. Whether he can play the left-hand side as well would be an interesting thing to see because... At the minute, all I can think of is him. I guarantee there's a couple of right wings that, that could put up a bit of a shout. But I think Politano at the moment is definitely one of the better ones that you could go with. Go on, go for something like a scorpion kick. <laughs> you just cannot stop him. Over Gabriel. Get another keepy up on the go. Finds the inside and oh my, Politano. Beautiful fifth goal or sixth goal. Wow. Just lets the ball roll. He's got Luke Shaw on absolute strings. As he tries to make a very good challenge. I will give him that. Going to try and go for that. And a little flick on the other side. He was looking for a left foot. Does enough to win the corner to be fair. Okay, maybe not. Oh, over him. Puts it into the path of Omri. No, okay. We 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 lost control. We don't we don't talk about that. That's it. Oh, Rainbow. It's got to be the penalty. We want a penalty or a free kick. What do we get? I think he's quitting regardless. I, I want to say we got a pen, I want to say. It wouldn't have been, surely. So if we go on to footbin for the evolution, then we've got him down at bottom here as the 85. We do have Diaz, Cubo being another one. Doubt you're ever going to do that one. You have, oh, okay, that's not a bad one. Lehman, Malcolm, Lucas Vasquez looks really nice as well. But obviously we've got to go with our man, Palitano. 4-4, four, 5-7, four, great stats for out. Unfortunately, I can't actually give any upgrades of chem stars here for some reason it just doesn't work so is what it is for that one if we did go back to the 81 and if we think of finisher on him you're looking at a plus seven so if we say anywhere between five and seven just because i can't work out the maths without actually having footbin to do it for me plus then the dribbling at 91 i don't know whether does he actually get upgraded on that so as we can see we end up oh, okay we can kind of do it like this i think does that work 87, because if that's 84 right now, if I take that off, let's uh, reset chem. So we got eight. Yeah, so that actually works. So that's even better. So if we go finisher, then we go on to here. So we've got the 91 pace. Beautiful. We then have 87 shooting, 82 passing. Good enough. 94 dribbling and a bit on the physicality. If we was to swap it for the dead eye, just to add a bit more there, you'd end up with 87, 88, 88 and 59. So depending on what you want as we can tell 
it is better dependent on the type of winger that you're going to use. I like mine cutting in. I personally do uh, every time. Dembele, Son are my personal ones on the main account. And they do it ever so well. And that is kind of how my game style is stuck. Passing-wise and, and crossing-wise, are just not it for me unless they've got the, uh, what is it, the playstyle plus whip pass or long ball. Just because it's so much more accurate. I love Trent whipping the balls in, hence why he's still a right back at the moment. So not having that play style plus is not going to mean I'm going to change my game for it. So going for the finisher is going to be the better option for me. This obviously doesn't show the upgrade, only that other one does. But in terms of the other upgrades, like we said with the evolutions, there's only a, a fair few that you can kind of go with wherever that one has gone now. Pacey Winger. So not that one. Definitely not. Play, we've got players here. So, okay, that's even better. To be honest, that's a great view. Highest in game, is that... Highest rated, highest... Oh, highest in game stats. Okay, very nice. So we can see kind of the, the best of the best here, though. Politano, Lehman is just kind of more name. Kulaveski's not a bad shout, a four-star, three-star. Vasquez is a right-back. It's a potential. It's an interesting, different upgrade. You then also have Malcolm as a great link for all of the Saudi players. Vela, Kubo, who just had a player of the month, so whether you're going to do that one. Then you also have uh, Soso. We go a bit further down. Brian Diaz, not a bad one. Pulisic, not awful, I suppose. And then, you, as, you, as you can tell, you just keep going down, you get lower and lower, basically. So in terms of what I personally like is to go for the highest rated you can, as long as they are relevant enough. And I think Politano definitely is. The one thing I did want to check with this is what are the right wingers saying? Because we have Kovatskili on the left, fair enough. Berardi, I knew there was another one. So Chiesa can actually be both, which is always perfect. Berardi can only be one. To be honest, 4 free. I think Politano wins that one. Pedro, ooh, 4-5, but doesn't quite have the pace that, that our man Politano has. Or Cellini, 82. I think he does come in as the best right wing, right mid you can have. Brolin doesn't count, he's a striker. But in terms of the best winger, unless you went in for Kravatskilia. I think if you went Chiesa Kravatskilia, it becomes very difficult there because Chiesa is absolutely mad. He is a 4-4, Kravatskilia is a 5-5. So you've already got three really good wingers here, but one of them you just have to do the evolutions for. And it's a nice different card, and I think that adds to the value of him. So I do think, in terms of Politano, he is absolutely perfect to try out. Let me know down below who you are choosing. I think this is a perfect, perfect option for your evolution for pacey wingers. Let me know, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.